have the geometry in place, the next thing is to put on physical properties. The main physical property to assign for electric problems is either material conductivity or permittivity or boundary conditions of voltage. And in this model, there's not going to be any dielectric fill material. That means we're only assigning voltages. So we click on what in rectangle and assign it as 10 volts. Click on the rectangle underneath and assign it as minus 10 volts. We now have a well-defined physical problem and we can go ahead and solve it. We just go to the solution menu and press solve. You may be noticing at this point the general flow of the program is following the menu across the top from geometry to physics to solving and now into analysis. When we finish it solving, the field analysis results dialog has automatically popped up. You can see in this dialog, it, you can create various types of displays of the result. We can create um, graphs such as this, where we get the voltage along a section of empty space between two points that we specified. We can also make contour plots, such as you see here, and we can present the contour plots in many different ways. For example, we can present the contours as a nice color gradient and then put an appropriate reference scale on to the screen as well. For other types of parameters, for vector parameters, we can also make plots of arrows and by doing an arrow plot we can now see the direction of the field and as expected the field is strongest near the corners but it is not um, undefined as it would be if we had left it the corners sharp. So we can make it different sorts of densities of plots and we can express the shape of the arrows in many different ways in different sizes and aspect ratios. For mechanical types of analysis it's also possible to use the analysis menu to get numbers like force and torque on a region.